Good morning, everyone. It's time for Ball Cap Bible Study. Uh, today, we're going to be on the seventh beatitude and comparing it with the seventh fruit of the Spirit. Um, I'm, I'm wearing a cardigan this morning. It's it's kind of cold out there. I got my Georgia Tech uh, hat going on, and uh, I'm drinking out of my Fellowship of Christian Athletes Cup. So I uh, hope you're having some coffee with me. You guys, be careful out there. The weather is going to get uh, nasty and ugly. Um, I've got my computer turned around today uh, here in my office, den, whatever. I've got the screen tilted down a little bit because if I if I tilt it up, there's glare off the TV from the uh, the light fixture and the fan and all. Um, I wanted to show you something. Today, uh, the Beatitude is blessed are the peacemakers. I'm, I'm going to grab something back here. So this is something my uh, grandpa brought back from World War II, uh, my mom's dad. So it's, it's got holes, you know, drilled in it. It's, it's inert. The top used to come off, but anyway, it's, it's solid. It's a, this thing's heavy. I, I used to, when I was a kid, I used to work out with it. I do like shoulder lifts and stuff. And uh, this probably weighs 10 pounds. Um, so that's some kind of artillery shell. Uh, but you know, he was one of the peacemakers. He even went into law enforcement when he got back from World War II. He was, uh, in the Pacific, he was a POW, uh, I believe all sorts of things. So anyway, um, that's a little bit of my history. Some of the things that I have in here, you can see the, uh, Raiders of, uh, the, well, it's not the Lost Ark, it's. It's uh, Indiana Jones and Last Crusade. That that poster, I don't know if you can see it from here, but it's it's actually signed by Sean Connery and Harrison Ford, stuff like that. It's just a fun room. But let's go with some announcements, and uh, we'll we'll talk about the beatitude and the and the uh, parallel fruit of the spirit. Okay, um, first announcement today. I'm I'm doing this one pretty early. It's not even seven a.m. yet. Uh, and then uh, I have to go get ready. I'm going to go to the convention, or I guess now they call it the annual meeting uh, for the next two days. Also, tomorrow, if you see this on Monday or Tuesday morning, um, tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, we'll have Pray for the Nation at 11 a.m. in the parlor, and uh, it'll be a special Thanksgiving uh, edition. So um, I know... Maybe the elections didn't go the way you wanted them to, but they went exactly the way God knew they would go. So, uh, you know, nothing surprises him. The outcome didn't surprise him. That's going to be one of our prayer points of Thanksgiving. We need to thank God for the outcome of the elections because, one, they didn't surprise him. And two, um, it doesn't change our responsibility to uh, be scriptural and how we um, respond uh, to the elections and praying for uh, our leaders and, you know, being good Christian citizens. So that's uh, something that we need to think about. This Thursday uh, will be um, the women's event, the uh, kind of Christmas uh, themed deal that they'll have. I hope you're signed up for that. If you're a lady and, and you're going to go, it'll be fun. And they'll have, they always have, Paul always does a good job with things you can you can buy or or door prizes giveaways that kind of deal so um let's see what oh sunday sunday evening the big christmas dinner bring a dessert uh if you're coming and uh it does it does cost uh it's i think it's i think it had to go up i think it's eight dollars a plate now uh but for what you get that's nothing i mean um you know unfortunately you know ten dollars doesn't go very far uh, go down and get a couple of uh, quarter pounders, fries, and a and a drink, and you're at eight dollars at McDonald's. So uh, this will be much better than that. Uh, our food service does a great job, and so you'll you'll have a good time. Come fellowship, come come be a part of it. Hopefully the weather is good. Um, be careful out there today. Uh, it's going to snow and sleet and slush. So uh, be careful driving. Uh, if you get out, if you don't have to get out, don't get out. It's cold. Um, we have some other stuff coming up. We've got, uh, you know, 
I know many of you are planning your parties for your classes, uh, some outings maybe. Um, just so you know, you might pray for this, but the Phoebe ministry ladies are going to have a, uh, are going to have something. Hi lady, how are you? Dog came in. Uh, they're going to have something Thursday. Um, so anyway, just, uh, watch the calendar. You know, we have lots of things going on. Um, the, the choir Christmas special will be, will be coming up. Leisure live wires will be December 13th. I know that's a little bit out there. Uh, I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving with your family. Um, that'll be next week. Just, just so you know, I will be out. Um, uh, I say out, I won't be on campus. I'll take two days of vacation, Monday and Tuesday, and then, um, be off the rest of the week. But we might go to Branson or somewhere, you know, Monday, Tuesday, maybe even come back Wednesday kind of thing. But um, I'll be available. You can always, I'm just one of those guys, you can always text me, call me, email me, whatever. Um, and I'll I'll respond. I don't hardly ever go, you know, what they call off grid. So uh, just, just know that. I just believe that uh, when you're, doing this work when you're serving the Lord um, you knew what you were signing up for and you should be available 24 7 because um, what day does God take off so um, that's just me I know everybody doesn't live by my standard and I certainly don't live up to God's standard um, but I try um, you know I, I, I fall short like all of us all right um, that's enough announcements for today let's let's get into uh the the beatitude and the and the corresponding fruit of the spirit all right this one's pretty neat so the beatitude is blessed are the peacemakers blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called sons of god um that's interesting isn't it because who is the son of god he is the prince of peace. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, but not only that, you know, just, just think of a peacemaker and, and how much, um, you know, control it takes, how much, you know, cause often what you would like to do, uh, to somebody with somebody is not what we should do. So, you know, just because you can doesn't mean you should, uh, you know, it takes, we've talked about mercy and grace and, and all those things in this study, but the corresponding fruit of the spirit is the word faith. Think about that. You know, do you have faith in the son of God? Does that make you a child of God? If you, know, you can almost walk it backwards if you have the faith right to embrace the grace hey, that kind of rhymes embrace the grace uh and you believe in the son of god what did jesus come to do he came to be to bring peace between god and man didn't he to that reconciliation and so um you know it all just fits so well together uh, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Uh, and, and ultimately, the Son of God is the Prince of Peace, and he came to bring peace, um, reconcile um, man and God. Now, what caused that? <laughs> That's the thing. We have, to, we have to take ownership, don't we? Um, you know, there's a it's no accident that the very first verse of the Bible requires faith. Uh, and the son of God was there at that first verse. John tells us in his gospel, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And then in verse 14, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. So, um, you know, it takes faith uh, to believe in the son of God, father, son, Holy spirit, Trinity. And everything that was made was, uh, made by him. There's nothing made that wasn't made by him. So are we reconciled? Are we children of God? Are we, do we have enough faith? You know, there's, there's a book out there, pretty neat book. You'll have to get it sometime. It says, I don't have enough faith to be an atheist. 
it, it takes more faith to not believe there's a God than to just look around and see that there really is. So um, it's pretty neat. So are you a child of God? Do you have that kind of faith? Well, roll all that back. And ultimately, that means that we're not troublemakers. We're peacemakers. We're not people of angst. We're not people looking for a fight. Now, doesn't mean we we back down from our principles. Doesn't mean, you know, we, we talked about that earlier. Meek does not mean weak. But, you know, we are, we're looking ultimately for, for peace. We want to be a prince or a princess of peace. We want to emulate um, the Son of God. We want to be Christ-like. We're called to be that. So um, one thing I just, I want you to know about, so the Beatitudes are, are found in, in the Sermon on the Mount, which is Matthew chapter five. Uh, the, the whole Sermon on the Mount's three chapters long, five, six, and seven. And it's just amazing. But Matthew, his, his, his entire um, gospel, I mean, obviously it records, uh, you know, the, the things of Christ uh, that the Holy Spirit inspired him to write down. But Matthew's purpose, he, he's, he's that publican, that tax collector, that, that Jewish, you know, person working for Rome, but understand who he's, who he's working for when Jesus, you know, calls him, he's working for Rome, for the emperor, um, collecting taxes, keeping what he wanted to keep, you know, uh, being mean to his own people. But the authority he's submitting to is Roman authority. Well, his gospel uh, is, is trying to um, demonstrate to the Jews that it's really Jesus that has authority. At the end of the Sermon on the Mount, he talks about how the people kind of were, were shocked almost because Jesus was talking as one, preaching as one who had authority. Um, and that's really the first, you know, put. Now he, he speaks to John the Baptist when he says, nope, you got to baptize me so that, you know, we can start on this path of, of righteousness, this path of, of resetting things. And, um, you know, that, that's, an, I mean, John has to submit to, to that request. Cause at first he says, he says, I need you to baptize me. Well, then, then he, his next time we see him, Jesus speak, he's speaking to the devil and the temptation. And, you know, that's a, you know, Jesus on top, uh, deal. That's an authority uh, position. And he uses the word of God. And then he tells him, you know, be gone. And then the next time we see him speak. So this is the th Sermon on the Mount. It's basically the third time we see him speak uh, in, in Matthew. The first two being John the Baptist and the temptation. Well, at the end of that, he says, and he preaches like someone having authority. Well, so that's, that's here at the beginning. We see authority at the beginning of, of the uh, gospel. Well, you go to the end, right? The great, we've talked about this before. I, I call it the great submission, but, you know, generally it's called the great commission. But um, he walks up, you know, most, again, I'm repeating myself. I know that. But he walks up and uh, most people think he says, uh, go ye therefore to all the nations. And he does say that. But before he says that, he says, all authority has been given me on earth and in heaven. So you know, it's, it's up to us. Uh, Matthew is trying to demonstrate Jesus is God. He, he has ultimate authority and it's our job to submit to that. Uh, we submit to that authority. That's how um, we get blessed. So, so blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called sons of God, but you have to, you have to admit and submit. So um, that's kind of, uh, the the ball cap Bible study today and um, kind of drug that out. But, uh, you know, you can run it backwards. Faith to embrace the grace. Uh, you know, are you, a, are you a child of God? Well, then you ought to be a peacemaker. Um, so, you know, we, we shouldn't go around looking for a fight, uh, but we shouldn't back down from 
unrighteousness. Um, talked about that in in class yesterday in in Sunday school. That uh, you know it's it's just as true in the physical world and the spiritual world. Darkness can't come in where there's light. The light has to recede uh, to let the darkness in. So um, that's that the whole Gospel of John is about light, um, but we're not in that. So all right, um, I've rambled enough. Um, but I think it it connects and you can see cor corresponding parallel uh, deals and how they line up. So uh, also um, getting good feedback and good response. Uh, I'll, I'll close with this, uh, that uh, many of you have said you would like to have a four o'clock Wednesday afternoon Bible study of some kind. Um, you know, we may we may just do a, a through the Bible thing and and go through, um, you know, 66 books. So, wow, it'd take a while to get through, uh, but it'd be fun. Uh, we'd enjoy the ride. And so maybe, you know, for, man, if we did, it'd take us five and a half years if we just did a book a month, but uh, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll uh, see what you guys want, take a survey, but we'll do that uh, starting in, in January. I don't know where yet. I don't know what room in, in the church. Uh, but we'll we'll have an early bird special Bible study at 4 p.m. on Wednesdays. If you want to get there at 3:45, that's fine. If you want to help me, that would be great. I could use a, a setup team. Um, you know, maybe get the coffee started and get uh, uh, make sure tables and, and materials are handed out. That kind of thing. It'll be fun. We'll make it fun. You know, with me, it's going to be fun. I'm not going to, you know, be boring. I hope. Um, but anyway, that'll start like January. 18th or whatever that Wednesday is after the winter Bible study. So um, we'll do that. And then um, you can come on a Wednesday. And and uh, if you want to get home before dark, you probably wouldn't even be able to stay for dinner. But if you didn't want to get home at, you know, 8 p.m., you could come to that, do the deal. Uh, you won't see that, just so you know, you won't see that in, in like a bulletin or a web page or anything. We'll, we'll communicate all that through um, these videos through text, through email, that kind of thing. Um, we're not going to uh, tie up church resources uh, that are really overloaded with a lot of communication stuff anyway. So I want that to be something that's just kind of organic and and you've heard of like grassroots, you know, uh, we'll just let you guys spread the word on that. And uh, if it's if it's 12 or 112, we'll 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 do it with however many show up. So all right, that's it. Um, this is one of those where I went too long. Sorry. And uh, uh, pray for the convention. I'll be uh, leaving here in about an hour and, and heading to Mustang. Talk to you later. Love you guys. Have a great week. Bye.